Interlude ten three. The shadow wavers. The red knight is covered in blood, and Tosakarin is sitting on the ground, dumbfounded. About five meters away from them stand the silver-haired girl and Emiyashiro hand in hand. The shadow wavers. After shrinking like a dead tree, the shadow expands like a blowfish. No, its poisonous nature is like an uglier deep sea fish. The expansion continues without limit, swelling outward and dyeing the forest black. At that instant, the Red Knight dies, protecting Tosakarin, and Emiyashiro survives by pure luck. It is fortunate that the ground is uneven. The expanding shadow passes over Emiyashiro, who is in a hollow pit. But his left arm is above its rim, unable to share in that fortune. <laughs> what? She wakes up. It's been half a day since she sent Ryder to guard Shiro. Matu Sakura, who shared vision with her servant to follow the situation, oh, without her leaving the house, is brought back to reality with that scene. She feels like vomiting. Her vision is blurred, as if she had lost it, because she cut the shared vision off by force. Her body is sweating, and as soon as she breathes... What's in her stomach rises up to her throat. She runs into the dressing room. She is covering her mouth with her hands and as soon as she gets to the sink. She vomits out everything in her stomach. She stands there with her head down, shoulders heaving. Her long hair flutters like a curtain hiding her face from the mirror. She recalls the nightmare. There is no mistake about the vision. Emiyashiro's left arm was swallowed by the shadow while protecting the silver-haired girl. It melted away without trace from the shoulder down. You haven't done anything. Sakura masochistically yells at herself for considering such a thing. She feels a chill and a strange uplift, not able to think about what happened and what she should do. All she knows is that she hates herself. She previously got the idea that if Emiyashiro were injured to a point where, she w where he wouldn't be able to go outside, he would not be in danger anymore. <laughs> yes, she was wrong. It will not solve anything. Was it simply carelessness that made her wish for him to be hurt? Now he has been wounded regardless of her wishes. Not a wound that will keep him indoors, but one that threatens his very life. There is no difference between the two. That's what it means to be injured. Why did she think that a misfortune to lose a part of one's body is a good thing? <laughs> the nausea does not go away. She does not stop vomiting even after throwing up everything gastric juice and blood. She thinks that the sharp pain in her stomach and the scratch on her throat is like a punishment to condemn her. And after a while... Her nausea finally goes away when the gastric juice runs out and she regains her composure. She breathes heavily. Her shoulders are moving up and down painfully. She puts her hands on the sink and tries to calm down, as if she's just finished running a marathon. In a trance, she speaks her true feelings. A short murmur. Still breathing heavily, she raises her head. The figure in the mirror is crushed by a feeling of guilt. The apologetic expression is caused by her worry for Emiyashiro's well-being. She truly wishes for her safety. The mirror reflects a face with a crooked smile. The smile? Interlude out. It's hot. I'm trapped in a sultry stone room. The heat radiating from my shoulders is like a plague of microscopic bugs eating my cells. My shoulder, the place where my arm used to be, is covered with honey Honey? And ants are swarming on it, so it looks like a carpet. It's hot. My body is burning from within. 
This isn't like a sultry stone room, but more like a sealed frying pan. I hear the sound of something burning and realize that I've been scorched black. It's hot. The heat melts my mind, leaving my body untouched. Slowly and fiercely. It burns through my jeans as if trying to override them. Is this nightmare finally coming to an end? It's hot. The hole is sealed so that the ants cannot escape. It's hot. 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 The hole is in my shoulder. I don't know why, but my missing left arm became a gateway, allowing the ants to float into my body. And the entrance, the hole to let them out, is sealed with flesh that's not mine. Say what? It's changing. It's changing to something I don't know. It's coming in. Knowledge I shouldn't have is flowing into me. It is his battle experience and battle information. His? <laughs> Hey, Archer's Blades, this is his noble phantasm. It's not the pair of swords. Kanchu and Bakuya. Favoring the treasured swords made by an ancient blacksmith. He himself was a blacksmith heroic spirit. That's why he creates. He duplicates everything he sees and understands. No, it is not duplication, but projection. A unique magic that reproduces the real thing using an image in the caster's mind. And the heat burning my mind helps me to manage this skill. <coughs> don't kid me, that's impossible. It won't fit. I don't know about projection. I'm not at that level yet. Cutting corners like this will destroy my body. First of all, I have my hands full with myself. I can't memorize or use someone else's ability. I don't have the needed power to begin with. And we are strangers with no connection, so there's no way it will become familiar with my body. No. I won't be able to bear it even if it becomes familiar with my body. You can't put time out of order or destroy the regularity. Even if you help me, I don't have the skills to handle it. Now we are in Kirei's room. My consciousness slowly returns. I'm sleeping on an unfamiliar bed in an unknown room. I raise my body. I think I met Saber at the forest, ran away with Tosaka and Ilya. Our eyes meet. Ilya is beside the bed, staring at me with blank amazement. I sigh with relief. I don't get the situation, but I'm glad Ilya is alright. Ilya charges at me. <coughs> Hugging me, she buries her face in my chest and repeats herself over and over. Man, I don't get what's going on, but I can't do anything if she's crying like this. Another one? What are you talking about? As I speak, I feel like a long knife is thrust into me. Unable to bear the pain, I tear at my chest with my right hand. His left arm? But he lost his left arm. I don't quite get it. I don't, but I want to escape this pain as quickly as possible. I relax my mind. Once I start meditating, I quickly understand which part of me is abnormal. I can control it more or less if I know the origin of the pain. I just need to create a barrier so that the foreign substance can't enter my body. What are you talking about? It seems like Ilya knows what's causing the pain. I look at myself and notice that I'm wearing big hospital clothes. No, these are more like restraints. 
All I can move is my right arm. Everything else is firmly belted down and I can't take them off myself. Iria looks away awkwardly. Then, a person I really don't want to see appears. こちらは自己説明だけだからな。用がなければ退出したまえ。ふ。どうだか。私は素人と一緒に外に出るの。あなたが本当に何もしないのなら、私がここにいても問題はないでしょ。なるほど。確かに問題はないな。だが説明は
異なる霊体同士の接合は禁じと呼ばれるなぜなら行ったところで絶対に失敗するからだ霊体魂の蘇生復元は魔術では扱えない神秘であるゆえに今回も形だけ成功した後でショック死すると思ったのだが素人アーチャーは特別よ私もさっき分かったこの二人ならつながりさえすれば持ち直すってイリアン looks away and lets her eyes wander sadly ほうまその理由は知らん私に分かるのはお前たちの相性が良かったということだけだ史実を始めた時は驚いたぞ双子でもここまでウリ二つではなかろうとな I flex my left arm to test his words I don't feel anything I don't even feel pain It's like a lump of dead meat It does move no matter what I do It's like a hand numbed by a loss of circulation The sensation of a part of my body not moving brings mental fear rather than physical pain The left arm is just a piece of metal One might feel constricted like this if one became a tin man. Not taking a canoe. Corre de Shujutsu a seco stomaca. Mucha o Yuna. Tsunaga Tabacari de w 私が言っているのはあくまでカイロが合うというだけの話だいかに相性が良かろうがそれは人間では扱いぬ英霊の腕いや腕というよりは兵器だな強力ではあるが使えばお前とて巻き込まれようそれは自滅するってことか<笑>無論だ人間であるエミヤシロウがアーチャーの腕を使えば肉体はアーチャーの腕に侵食されるいな吹き飛ばされるという表現の方が正しいか霊格としてエミヤシロウの肉体はアーチャーの腕には到底及ばん一度でもその腕を使えばアーチャーの魔術回路が起動するそうなった時お前の体はアーチャーの魔術行使に耐えられず<笑>内部から崩壊する Well that doesn't sound good いいか使うたびに寿命が減っていくのではないその腕を使えばお前の体に植え付けられた次元爆弾にスイッチが入るのだ What is that? In short, that means I'll certainly die if I try to do what Archer does even once じゃあこの布はそのためのああそのための封印だそれを巻いている限り左腕は魔術回路を発言しないお前が魔術を使おうとその左腕だけは別のものとして扱われるだが安心はするなよ魔術講師をせずとも生きている限り魔力は肉体に通るものだその度に左腕には痛みと起動しようとする反動が起きるだろうそれを防ぐためマルティンの生涯筆で左腕を覆っている。The Shroud of Martin? その布を巻いている限り、左腕からの侵食はある程度抑えられるはずだ。ちょっと待て、ある程度抑えられるって、それじゃ完全には。抑えられん。そうだな。アーチャーの腕を使おうと使うまいと、結局はその腕に侵食される。長生きがしたいのなら腕と拮抗するほどの魔術師に成長しろそうなれば生涯符を巻かずとも左腕の封印はできる何私の見立てでは左腕に食いつぶされるまでにあと10年それだけの猶予があるのだ一人前になって左腕を拒否するか慣れずに自滅するか早急な話ではあるまい This is like I was remodeled without my knowing. But it's no use complaining. I would have died in that forest. Transplanting Archer's arm was the only way to save my life. So complaining would mean I don't want to live. 
とりあえず礼は言っとくまた世話になった琴峰神父できれば四度目がないよう祈っててくれ Yeah, Kirei does a lot for us on this route, huh? e r a z u g u c h i a Yeru no Nara Shimpai wa Iranuna. Dewa Soto Nidero. Rehai do de Ringa Matir. Kudamine heads to the door. I get off from the bed and put on the prepared jacket. I can't move my left hand, so I just drape it over my shoulder. Yes. Kyoku Batreba, Itamanaina. Iria, Igo. I exit and find myself in the courtyard. The sky is dark and it's already night time. I was ready to go. So, no, say, I feel a toko to my b a cantani toker. Sentak shua tsinen yo mine yar. Archer no chikaro tskao no a jiudaga. Skaeba, inochino hosho wasen. Soreo humaita wede, says a umak tachimaware. 